So I'm just gonna die and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what I would suggest. It is a fact that you have brought to bear on this situation. And the entire time you're fighting this gigantic tomato, you have to listen to a man screaming. <laughs> hey, it's called metal. Maybe you've heard of it. This is not metal. <laughs> the soul's address to the body. The soul's anger at the sinful body is a very common subject in medieval literature. The grimness of the poem is a common mood in cold English poetry. The fragment described the gratitude of the saved soul, the body for its self-denial on earth is a much rarer theme. Verily it behooves every man that he himself should ponder his soul's state, how sound that is when death comes, it sunders the union which existed before body and soul. Long is it after that till the soul receives from God himself either bail or bliss, even as the body won for it erstwhile on earth. The spirit, the soul, shall come loud in its sorrows, always on the seventh night, for three hundred years. Eh? Eh? Three hundred eight? Okay. To find the body which long since it wore, unless ere that the great king, almighty God, the lord of lords, tomatoes, will bring the end of the world. Then, most woeful, it will cry in a cold voice, the soul will speak sternly to the dust. Thus. What hast thou done, sorrowful one? What affliction hast thou caused me? The foulness of earth falls all to ruin like unto clay. Little didst thou think what thing thy soul should afterwards become when freed from the body. What hast, what hast thou to blame in thee, a curse? Lo, thou didst little think to be the food of worms when thou didst follow the all the lures of pleasure. Hmm? Oh, is he dead? No. Or is this he was being too lazy to cast heal. I can't cast heal! The thing cast heal, I have no control. Oh, you're you're the, there. The beginning. I see. Oh, I'll, I'll stop if you guys want. But I, I took it out of its I'm trick just talking at the game, I'm not talking to you. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll go on. A little before. Uh, Lo, the Lord Almighty by his own hand sent thee a soul by an angel from the heavens on high from his majesty and brought thee with the holy blood. Thou didst bind me with grievous hunger and fetter thee with hell torments. I dwelt within thee, compassed by flesh I could not come out of thee, and thy sinful lusts lay heavy upon me, so that full often it seemed to me that it would be thirty thousand years till thy death day, ever with pain I waited till we two should part. Verily the end now is not over good. Thou wert proud in thy food, and glutted with wine. Thou wert gloriously daring, and I was a thirst for the body of God, for spiritual drink. Wherefore, here in life, One, when I was two, forced yeah. to dwell in thee in the world, thou didst not think that thou wert solely troubled by flesh and sinful lusts, and upheld by me, and I was a soul sent from thee, from God. Thou didst never guard me with the lust of thy desires against hell torments so grievous. Oh, what the hell is this? This is new. I remember... He cast Sinful Wrath. Ah! Or something wrath. Oh, now he's inflicting wound damage to you. That is just rude. Thou shalt suffer the disgrace of my shame on the great day when the only begotten shall gather together all race of mankind. There are not more dear as a comrade to any living man, neither mother nor father, nor any kinsman than the dark raven, since I pass out from thee alone by the hand of him who formerly sent thee. Henceforth they cannot take from thee the golden ornaments. Yeah, all of his acts are dealing with silver, now. Nor aught of thy gods nor thy bride's circlet, nor thy wealth, nor any possessions which formerly thou didst own. But here thy bones shall abide, stripped bare, snatched away from sins, and I thy soul against my will shall often seek thee, revile thee with words, as thou didst unto me. Now art thou dumb in death, thy joys are not, yet perforce I shall seek thee by night, stricken with sins, and straightway leave thee against cockcrow, when holy men lift up a song of praise to the living God, and seek my abode which thou didst appoint me here, and thy cruel dwelling place, 
Here many earthworms shall gnaw thee. Dark creatures, ravenous and greedy, grievously rend thee. Thy follies are fled, which here on earth thou didst plant before men. Wherefore it would be better for thee by far, that all the wealth of the world were thine save, thou didst give it to God himself. If thou did at the beginning hadst become a fowl, or a fish in the sea, or toiled for food as a beast on earth, as cattle wandering in the field without wisdom, or the fiercest of wild animals in the wilderness, if God had thus willed it, even though thou hadst been on the basest of worms, than thou ever hadst become a man on earth, or ever received baptism, when thou must answer for us, both on the great... This is one sentence, buddy. When the wound shall be revealed to men, which long ago sinners wrought in the tomato, in the world. Then will the Lord himself, the creator of tomatoes, hear the deeds of every man from the speech of all men's mouths, recoitle Got him. Work. I think you got a QTE coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell. <laughs> All right, you know. Oh shoot, that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know why I can't I can't what? I can't affect that. Oh, it was a stupid fight. They really broke the flow of the game. Yeah. Zero stars. 23 minutes. And 20, 20, 23 minutes. Oh, so I beat that fuck ass. Yeah, and the tar the target minutes. time was five minutes. Just won't stay dead. Let's go. Yeah. Hit it hard while it's down and no. I mean we get out of here. Look, that way. Come on, Snow. Let's go. But I really wanted to beat up this giant fuck monster. It's awesome! Fighting this thing is the only thing keeping me alive if you take me away from it, I'll- Hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes you gotta make a stand. <laughs> You're not listening to me. Humans aren't- I flip a coin and that's how I figure it out. I'm not human! Some of us are tougher than others. <laughs> I've been here for 300 well, years. What's your excuse? Does he have a lacy collar or something? Um, what's the, what's the deal with this is Snow. And this is Snow. And we're getting married. Oh, getting married. It's not the same as being married. See. <laughs> you know, somehow I didn't expect you to be such a hothead. All I hear is what a great guy Snow is. Here you are, all the way in the future. I'm sorry, who's the hothead? What were you thinking bringing Sarah out here? Well, listen, Snow. Guess what, Lightning? Found snow again. Uh huh. Right, when it goes uh, italics. As as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Guess I'll never learn. 